chicken or the egg? I think they both have to come together. Clearly, we're already All right, guys. So, <clears throat> I have your female pelvis right here. Um, so, we're going to go over a couple structures right here. Obviously, you want to identify if it's a male or a female first, just so you know what you're looking at. So, you can clearly see here, you have your uh, urethra right here, your vagina's here, and your rectum's here in the back. So, just notice the close proximity between all of them. So, going through your list, uh, we have your mons pubis, <clears throat> which is this fatty region right here um, near the front. You have your labia majora, which is this lower one right here, and then labia minora is this more inner one, if you were to pull that back. Um, this little structure right here is your clitoris, um, it's just going to stick out right there, and you have your pubic bone right here as well. So, uh, how can you tell the difference between your bladder and your uh, uterus? So here's your bladder right here, you can see your urethra right here, it's, usually, it's always anterior to the vagina, and then this is your uterus here in the back. Um, so you have your uterus plus your cervix, cervix is going to be this little end right here, so when you're pregnant and they're talking about the dilation of the cervix, they're talking about the dilation of this opening right here. You can see these little indentations. You can see a really good one right here. And then there should be one like right underneath this hole right here. This is going to be called your fornix of your vagina, which is little indentations right up in here. Um, and then obviously you have your vagina here uh, as the other opening. Uh, you can see your ovary right back here, this little yellow dot. Also, if I was gonna attach this little piece to it, this is your ovary right here. And then how that gets to, how the egg gets from there to the uterus is through your fallopian or uterine tubes, which you can see right here. Um, obviously your rectum is here in the back and that should cover it on this model. Moving on to the male model, we have right here, the piece attached. All right, so here's your male pelvis model. A um, few things you want to know on the outside structure right here. Uh, you can see your testes down here, and also if you were to open it up, your testes are right here. On your outer structure, this little uh, thing that wraps around is your epididymis. Coming up, you have your ductus deferens, which is this little um, duct tube structure right here. And then if you were to combine that with all these blood vessels and stuff, this whole thing is going to be called your spermatic cord going up. So ductus deferens is this, and then everything together is your spermatic cord. Right back here, you have your seminal vesicle. Um, your prostate gland is also right here. And if you open it up, you can see it internally here as well. So, in the male model, the urinary bladder is really clear. You can see it right here. And then you have your urethra coming down. You have a couple different parts of your urethra. So, right here, going through this prostate is your prostatic urethra. And then this down here is your spongiosum urethra. This is what goes through your corpus spongiosum, which is this little uh, red going along the side of the urethra, basically. You also have a corpus cavernosum, which is this more purple structure right here. Um, a few other things, you have your pubic bone right here. Your rectum is here in the back. And a couple other things, you have your foreskin, which is right here. Um, when you're circumcised, this is what they remove, basically. And around this surrounds what we call the glans penis, which is just the end right here. And that should cover it. Thanks, guys. We're going to have your cremaster muscle, which is this one right here, right in the front. That's what pulls your testes up. And then, so we got the bulbo urethral gland, which is right here. It's this little white part right here.